I've been an occupational therapist since 1995, and I've been working with stroke, brain injury, spinal cord, and amputee populations. I'll, my patients come to me in the outpatient clinic, inpatient clinic, I've seen them in the ICU. First thing they say to me is I want my hand to work. I said, well, your hands are useless unless your shoulder and your scapula can support it and transport it. I like Harmony SHR in comparison to other technologies because it's the only technology I've seen to date that engages the bilateral upper limbs of the human body. Bilateral sync mode or mirror, mirroring mode where the weak side is mirrored by the strong side, for example. That's a movement that that individual may not have been able to do since the neurological in, in, insult or injury. Touchdown. <laughs> nice. A lot of these individuals have learned non-use of the affected side. It's a retraining mode to let their brain know that they don't have, the individual doesn't have to exert a home run type of force to get their hand off their lap. Predefined exercise mode uh, that Harmony currently has is more of a passive mode. And that's what we really need too with that neurological recovery is, is being able to repetitive in, in nature. The robotic system knows the movement, does the same movement the same way each time. Weight support mode is basically taking the weight of the human arm and minimizing gravitational effects on it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Come on, stretch. I lost my right arm as a child at age four in a trauma. And after 25 years of being an occupational therapist, uh, touched a few lives in a positive way. Now being able to touch lives in a positive way with some technological tools that are cutting edge is even better. <laughs>